Hello guys and welcome back to another video here for the AH64D as you get to know. So today we're going to be doing a advanced hover tutorial. After a couple of days now I have uh, kind of learned some symbology and I want to kind of help people try and get better at their hovering um, at high heights, low heights and uh, obviously overall just to give people an understanding of what you're actually looking for when you're hovering. Um, I've been practicing quite a lot on this and I thought it's time to share what I've come up to. Like I'm not a helicopter pilot. I uh, have no hours in a real helicopter. Um, there's probably plenty of other people out there that uh, have better tutorials, but uh, this is how I have uh, come to be able to grasp it and uh, hopefully it will help you guys. So first off, we just have to take note of some symbology and what things are happening where uh, they should be. All right, so the top left, we have our percentage. It's sitting at 76%. That is the percentage of your collective or throttle, whatever you want to call it, uh, at that particular time. The line and the circle is the basically in dumb terms how fast the helicopter is going in that direction, but how much more you're going to have to pull back on. So in a, in a way, it is um, velocity vector line. So it's saying that we're going straight ahead, uh, kind of off to the, the right of the aircraft a little bit. And then the last part on the right-hand side is the altitude, so 630 feet from the ground. So that's AGL, not AMSL. And if you have a look, we also have the vertical speed indicator. Now this vertical speed indicator, unlike the aircraft, is actually quite accurate. Um, most of the aircraft ones kind of lag a bit. So <laughs> in talking about the hover, when you're flying straight, the vertical speed is changed by two things. It is changed by your pitch, Obviously, if you nose down, you're going to go down. But you can also manipulate it, obviously, with your uh, collective to keep it at the middle. So what, in a hover, obviously, if the collective is the only thing that makes you go up and down, right? So all you want to do is make sure that you keep the arrow in the middle and keeping the ball in the middle of the plus. And then you can have a perfectly good hover at zero, maybe zero to two knots in whatever direction. So let's give it a go. All right, I'm gonna show you what happens with all these all these symbologies uh, whilst we're flying, and I'll give you an idea of the movements of the aircraft. Okay, so alarm we'll pause. Get the track IR out. Rotor RPM high. Got the so you can see I'm nose down and I'm descending. So what I'll do is I'll bring the collective up, and as you can see, we start to climb. Okay, so I nose down again, and you'll see that the vertical speed goes down again. So I'll bring the vertical speed back up, and the vertical speed wants to go back up. Again, I can manipulate that by bringing the collective down. And there you go, we start to descend. Right. So we want to be coming into a hover, right? Now I'm out in the desert. I'm going to aim towards these mountains out here. And I came out here for one simple reason. I didn't want buildings or landmarks kind of manipulate what I'm trying to say. I'm literally just using the instrument on the eye hats. Alright, so... We'll get up to some height so I can get away from the terrain. You can do this at pretty much any height. The higher you go, um, away from the ground. And this is also uh, based on your weight as well. Uh, obviously, weight, you're going to need more power. I'm empty with uh, how much fuel I have in the aircraft. So, I've got full fuel. Look, 
according to my fuel gauge down there. We'll just get up to about 1,500 and then we'll just start to try and get into a hover. Right, now to do this, obviously I want to try and hold my altitude as well. So I'll just keep pulling back, bringing the circle back to the plus. But I want to hover as well, so I want to bring the collective down. But I, want, I don't want to bring the collective down too much. So I'll set the trim there. And just bringing that circle all the way back into the plus. Right, now we're basically in the hover. Okay? And I can even look out to the left hand side of the aircraft, or the right, and maintain that hover without looking out the front. Okay? So I want to get that vertical speed basically in the center, right there, about there. And there it is. So now we're basically sitting in the hover, okay? So the vertical speed's going down just a tad, so you can just monitor that with your collective. You can just pump it up or whatever. And I can even look it out at the back of the aircraft. Like that, like so. Monitoring the hover. Okay? We're looking at it from the outside. We're kind of climbing. So to stop the climb, you just keep monitoring that hover. And off you go. Now what a lot of people don't understand, and what I have come to understand, is now that I'm in a hover, Right. Let's get into a little bit better of a hover, but we're not moving at all. So what a lot of people don't understand and why they run into issues of trim. Now it's not you trimming out, right? When you punch collective forward, and this is more pertinent in a hover, you're not only sending power to the main rotor, you're sending power to the tail rotor. Now I have perfectly trimmed somewhat. Um, now if I was to add collective, all right, I'm gonna put nothing on my pedals, so my I don't have anything on uh, my pedals, my feet are on the ground. If I am collective now, watch what happens. Rotor RPM low. Rotor RPM low. So the aircraft wants to kick out to the right. Because look, my trim is sitting in the left there. As you can see, no movement. That is because I added collective. Now if I drop the collective, look how the RPM just stopped. And now I'm going out to the left. So if I bring that back up to the middle, And no foot on pedals. See, can you understand that adding collective in a hover is going to send power to the rotors? So a lot of people running into the torque um, kills, so the torque kills, or what people have been calling the trim kill. That is because you've out trimmed the aircraft for the power setting that you're using. All right. So now again, we're in a perfect hover. We are decreasing. So, stop that. We need to increase collective. Stop the oscillation. Oh, too much collective. But just fine movements, basically. Fine, fine movements. By keeping that circle, and I have to fight this one. It's getting away from me. Oh, oops. My bad, wrong way, other way, <laughs> other way, there we go. Even that circle, in the plus, and off we go, there we go. So obviously you're gonna want something out the front there so you can keep the aircraft straight, so most likely it'd be a target or a building or something like that. Or you can just look out to the left hand side and just try your best. You can see the aircraft oscillating in the right there. Just keep your pedals 
somewhat centered and we are descending so I just need to add more collective So I really hope this helps, um, help you learn to hover a little bit more uh, for your future endeavours. So again, we'll just do it last time, getting into that hover. So we are up quite high, uh, a lot of people find it hard to hover at high heights. And this will also help if you have a gunner in the front because you're not moving around. And there we are, again. Nice and solid. Now, all you need to do, hit the trim, center all your stuff, and you're pretty much gonna sit there perfectly. All right, so now I'm just sitting here. I'm outside, touching my mouse and stuff, having a look around. As you can see, a bit noisy, so I'm not gonna zoom in too far here just yet. But as you can see, the aircraft's not moving at all. It's just sitting in a hover. I'm not touching any of the controls. Alright, so I'm just going to sit here uh, and just watch the aircraft. Now, it's going to want to oscillate back and forth. That's right, because there's wind out there, okay? But all I need to do is just manipulate that with the stick. But well, we're pretty much in a perfect hover, in an unwise un speaking. We're not moving as much. The guy in the front, he can uh, get his missiles ready and find the target in front of us over those hills there and uh, fire away. So I hope this symbology stuff helps and I really hope that uh, it'll help you in the future with your uh, hovering, whether it's on the ground or if it's up in the air at um, 1,000 to 2,000 feet. So thank you again guys and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you later guys.